Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy. D-Day has arrived, ladies and gentlemen, because this is some pretty epic, also terrifying news to come out of the anime world. So let's talk about One Piece. Yes, that One Piece, the one that is real. Everyone's favorite manga and anime series, one of the most commercially successful and highest selling manga and anime series ever created. And for the longest time, it was pretty innocently left alone compared to other anime series that have fallen into the spiral death that is the live action scene. But uh, there's a reason why I'm calling today D-Day, because Netflix has just released the first trailer to the brand new upcoming One Piece live action series. Now, I think it is a series. I don't think it is a movie. It doesn't really make sense for it to be turned into a movie and they've kind of turned anime live actions into series in the past with multiple episodes. So I assume this is what this is going to be. And look, we've seen a couple of teasers of it. Uh, I've talked about it in a past video where the news was first dropped and I was waiting patiently for them to release the trailer because you know what? As much as a lot of people put a bad rap on live actions, I'm always kind of going into it with positive uh, skills skepticism, you know, with, uh, you know, maybe there's a sliver of hope that we might actually get a decent or even good live action adaptation. Not that that track record has been the most positive in the past, but I digress. So as you can see, uh, it's been popping off, uh, already has a million views in uh, 11 hours that it has been up and uh, I have not seen it yet. I saw the announcement over on Twitter. I have not seen it yet. So today we are going to be watching this One Piece teaser trailer together. Um, I've obviously left the trailer down in the description below as well. If you'd like to watch it without my commentary, we're going to go into this first frame already of this trailer is looking, uh, you know, very much like some kind of Pirates of the Caribbean spin-off. Uh, good to see some actual pirate ships going on there. But you know what? Let's let's check it out. Let's 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 forget for one second that this might be the biggest steaming pile of dog shit that uh, Netflix and the live action anime scene has brought out. Who knows? It might actually be good. So let's give it a watch. And uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see uh, what the One Piece Netflix live action series has to give us right now. Ever since I was a kid. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I've been to way too many anime conventions in the past, but this just looks like cosplay. I mean, look, not nothing against the actors or anything like that, all right? Like, you know, even, even with, like, the whole casting choices with all these live actions, none of the fault of how good or bad these shows are were because of the actors. Obviously, it's all about the producers and the writers and stuff like that. But whenever I see a real-life person dressed up in a straw hat with the red vest, I can't help but think this man just came back from Comic-Con. The sea's been calling. So? I'm setting out to follow my dreams. Okay, to be fair, I don't know if this is this actor's natural voice, but I can definitely sense that he's kind of got, like, the youthful spirit and energy of a young Luffy pretty well, in my opinion. Nothing will be as iconic as the original, you know, Japanese voice of Luffy that everybody knows and loves, obviously. But I think, you know, at least they didn't make him sound like a normal ass dude. They're definitely giving the whole feeling and vibe of this young, eccentric, youthful, wide-eyed and sparkle-eyed, I am ready for an adventure type of vibe that we have, or well, we expect from a young Luffy at the beginning, obviously, because this is right at the beginning of the story. So, so far, got to give credit where credit is due. I think the, the, the voicing, I guess, as good as it gets so far. I'm gonna be king of the pirates. All I need is a loyal crew. Oh, there's Zora. And I think together we'd make a pretty good team. Okay, Z not gonna lie, bro. Zara, Zara kind of, Zara kind of walking fire right now. Zara, Together we'd make like a pretty the, good team. Props to the uh, fucking costume designers. That is, that is a pretty convincing Zara right there. I thought the green hair of Zara was gonna be a little bit off-putting, but you know what? Not as bad. I actually think it, it, he actually looks pretty fucking decent. It's a legendary We're heading up to the Grand Line. 
treacherous stretch of ocean. Okay, there's Nami, which, you know, in terms of the costumes, uh, is probably one of the easiest characters uh, to look realistic. At least, you know, this was probably the least, uh, you know, strain on the costume department. You know what? Looking all right so far. Pretty good. Oh, that's bigger CG island. That, bigger oh, pirates. Yeah, that was right there. <laughs> hey, oh my, yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I get, I'm assuming. <laughs> Alright, first of all, I was not expecting Buggy to be in this, uh, which is fucking amazing because I love Buggy. He's like one of my favorite characters in One Piece, but holy fuck, bro. Like, this. <laughs> Man's looking like a combination between Joker and the and Pennywise, bro. Like th this. Okay, look. Granted, he looks fucking psychotic, right? Which you know, is, if you know anything about fucking Buggy from the show, he is an absolutely psychotic character, and everybody loves him for that. But uh, when it gets turned into live action, holy fuck, he he is he is terrifying. He is actually like i am actually scared i am going to see this fucking image in my nightmares tonight like that is terrifying and you know again i'm really glad that they are going into the whole buggy part of things because again i love fucking buggy and it'd be kind of interesting to see like how they're going to show off the devil fruit powers because so far we're about halfway through this trailer i haven't seen a single visual cue of the devil fruit powers which i think is going to be the biggest hurdle for this series to overcome because obviously it's going to be using some cgi obviously it's going to be using some you know camera trickery and stuff like that and uh, a lot of the powers are pretty insane you know like in the case with the buggy like he can fucking pull apart all of his limbs obviously with you know luffy he, we're gonna see some arm stretching i assume we're gonna see it like closer to the end of the trailer but uh Man, I'm. <laughs> it's going to be really interesting to see if uh, the CGI is not at the level of Japanese CGI quality. And I guess that's the benefit of having like a Western production do this because they're probably going to make sure the CGI looks at least bearable and not some like cringy render. Careful with that. I don't work for you. I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the crew. Not, not a, a crew. crew. Okay, maybe, look, this might be my bias speaking right now, but uh, seeing Zoranami and Luffy, uh, you know, bantering in English is a little off-putting to me. Maybe because, you know, the, the, the Japanese voices, which is, you know, what I watched One Piece in and I'm currently reading One Piece in Japanese. Those voices, those Japanese voices are just so fucking iconic now and so indistinguishable that it really is difficult for me to, like, kind of project or I guess like pretend that uh it is a completely different set of voices connected to very familiar characters that I've you know already have a slight type of tone and a uh, way of speaking connected to already but so far you know it's so far what I can say is that this is not bad but let's let's keep watching we haven't sailed together for very long there's Sanji um okay First things first, I am so glad, I am ecstatically happy that they decided to keep his eyebrows normal. I am so happy about that because I think even the team at the One Piece live action knew that if they gave Sanji, live action Sanji, the fucking squiggly eyebrows, it would have increase the tackiness of the character designs like a hundredfold. I'm glad that they just gave him the hair, gave him the suit, and other than that, he's just a normal ass looking dude. I'm happy about that. It would have been cool to see, obviously, because, you know, that is one part of Sanji's character design that is very iconic, obviously, but I think this was the right choice of them not uh, I guess like a hundred percent following the character designs that Oda Ichiro implemented because I think even Oda Ichiro and the team recognize that this kind of character design just does not work in live action. So already extra points for Netflix for doing that and sticking to it. I think this is a good move. But I know we've got each other's backs. Oh, was that Usopp? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was that? That was Usopp right there. That was Usopp. That was Usopp. That was Usopp right there. There's my boy Usopp. And again, another fantastic choice. As, as I was saying with Kan- Sanji, uh, you know, not giving Usopp the long nose, I think for a live action setting, 
is the correct choice. Again, it would have just made it look so much tackier if they gave Usopp the nose. They're just giving kind of hints. They're almost like paying homage to the original character designs and not deciding to go to the full T, which I think a lot of live action shows have made the mistake of doing. The reason why, like, say, for example, the Full Metal Alchemist live action was just so incredibly tacky looking is because they made sure that the characters looked exactly the same as the manga and anime, which just turned it into cosplay it just it just turned into a cosplay show reel whereas this one they're making sure that you know the things that are viable enough in live action are given to the costumes of the live action characters but the ones that are not viable like sanji's eyebrow and usopp's nose it's just left out of that shit because you could still look at this and be like, yeah, that is clearly Usopp. The fact that I stopped this trailer at all to be like, yeah, that's Usopp is already telling that there is enough hints in the way that the character is dressed and the way that the character looks and the way the character acts to know that that is Usopp. So again, good choice, good choice. <laughs> Could you repeat that, please? Come again! Oh, there it is. This is the script. This Oh, okay. First of all, uh, they're going with the English versions of the move names. Uh, instead of Gomu Gomu no Pistol, it is Gum Gum Pistol. Which, again, this is just a bias. Uh, I'm sure, you know, people who watched uh, One Piece dubbed, if there are any of you out there that actually exist, uh, first of all, props to you. Uh, but second of all, as someone who is just so used to just hearing GOMU GOMU NO! Pistola! Like that, the Japanese way that Luffy says it, uh, it is a little bit jarring to see it being said in English. But I will say that the uh, CGI for GOMU GOMU NO PISTOL looks pretty decent again not that bad i don't know maybe i'm saying all these things because i've just gone through a absolute gauntlet of horrendously looking incredibly tacky live action anime in the past like I've, I've pretty much seen all of them like every single live action anime you can think of i've most likely seen it so compared to that giant pool of steaming piles of shit this one is like not that bad it's honestly not that bad. It could have been a lot worse. Pistol! All great fighters call out their finishing moves. No, they don't. August 31st. And there you go. That was the trailer for the One Piece live action from Netflix. God damn. So with that out of the way, uh, let me give my thoughts on this trailer. Honestly speaking, and this is like throwing away all biases and all the little nitpicks that I was mentioning in this video, this actually looks not that Bad. And I know this might come as a shock because I think the, the the thing right now is to just like shit all over this thing, which I'm sure every One Piece fan is doing. And, you know, as also a One Piece fan who, you know, admittedly has not finished the manga, is not caught up to the latest chapter or anything like that, has read, I'd say, at least a good 60, 70 percent of the manga so far. I wanted to join that bandwagon. I for sure wanted to join that bandwagon, but I got to come clean. Got to be honest with you guys. This honestly doesn't look that bad on the surface. Now I say on the surface because this is exactly the same reaction I had when I first watched the live action trailer of Netflix's Cowboy Bebop, which at the end of seeing Cowboy Bebop, I, I watched all of the Cowboy Bebop live action and my final like results or I guess thoughts on that was that it was like the most 5 out of 10 show. It was a 10 out of 10 in terms of visuals, in terms of aesthetics, in terms of things like casting and character designs and costume design. Like it was probably one of the best and most naturally fitting in terms of live action anime that we have seen. The thing that dragged a 10 out of 10 visual down to a 5 out of 10 overall for me was just the story. And I think this is 
going to be another one of those cases where like I'm watching this trailer right now and I'm thinking, hey, that actually doesn't look all that bad. But now my biggest question and the reason why this is just a first impression and not like a full review of the show, because obviously I haven't seen it yet. It hasn't come out, is that I am definitely holding judgment on how the story is going to be, because as fantastical and amazing the visuals are of the One Piece series, the thing that sells One Piece on a, for a lot of people, especially in the long run, is just how great the character dynamics and story are, even at the early stages of One Piece. You know, obviously it's just gotten better and better and better with later arcs, and a lot of people I think can say that, you know, the early parts of One Piece, which is where this live action series is going to cover, considering we didn't see Chopper, it's probably going to end right before that whole Chopper arc starts. It's not a whole lot of story, so obviously they have to come up with some kind of like ending, or I guess cliffhanger, if, you know, this ends up being successful and they do make a season two or whatever, you know, they got to try and figure out a nice clean way to just finish up the season one before the chopper arc, which is I think going to be quite difficult. And uh, again, we don't know how many episodes this is going to be either. Is this going to be like a Cowboy Bebop situation where I think there was 10 or 11 episodes? Uh, because the ending to Cowboy Bebop live action was also quite questionable, um, which is why again, the, 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 the scores went down. But I think again, just basing it on this, on the, the visuals of what we have in the, in the little information that we have garnered from this first trailer, it's really difficult to like fully hate on this thing. I think, you know, as contrarian as I may get sometimes with anime opinions, you know, even even I can't say that this looks like complete shit. There were so many elements that they could have added to even this trailer and just simple character designs that could have easily, easily have turned this into like an instant skip. But I am like genuinely curious now as a One Piece fan to see how it's going to go. And I think uh, that that should be f the, the, the opinion of every One Piece fan as of right now. Obviously, again, this might have aged horribly if you're watching this video and the whole season one of One Piece live action comes out and it ends up being like an absolute piece of shit. Um, hey, th that's fine. But as of right now, this is actually, weirdly enough for me, kind of getting me almost excited to watch this series. I felt that same way with the Cowboy Bebop live action as, as, as there were so many amazing elements to the live of action Cowboy Bebop adaptation, it didn't end up fulfilling what it promised in the trailers. The trailers definitely made it look a whole lot better than what it actually ended up happening. So will this be the same case with the One Piece live action? It's difficult to say, but Either way, I think there were a couple of great choices that uh, the Netflix team made in terms of the character designs. I also think as well, them cutting off the story before Chopper and not introducing Chopper into this was also a fantastic idea because <laughs> I cannot imagine CGI Chopper fucking running around with this live action crew. That that just would have looked whack as fuck. Uh, so I'm glad that they're not going to the Chopper side of things. Who knows? It might end up being like, again, the Cowboy Bebop live action where Chopper ends up in the last like five seconds of the last episode and completely ruins it for everybody like Ed did in Cowboy Bebop. Uh, hopefully they don't do that and hopefully they've learned their mistakes from the Cowboy Bebop live action. But I think either way, so far, first impressions of this Cowboy, uh, sorry, uh, One Piece live action is um, I think it looks pretty decent. And, uh, you know, if you, if you disagree with me on that, uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. But even I'm not that contrarian to say that I think this looks like complete shit so far. Just again, based on this first trailer. That was my thoughts and opinions on the One Piece live action official teaser trailer. Uh, as I think it said, it was coming out August 31st. So I'm definitely going to make sure to check it out when it does come out. And you'll probably see videos on this channel of me talking about it once I've finished watching all of it. But uh, either way, guys, that was my thoughts and opinions. Let me know yours down in the comments below. And hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smack my face right here to subscribe to the channel. Let's keep making big channel number go bigger over here next to my head. Couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one and the links to my social media as well as my Patreon to support me directly and my YouTube shorts and my TikTok page with which I've been blowing up recently by the way thank you very much all down in the description below and I will see you all in the next one peace